Okay, I showed you what this looks like after I finished finished it. Now I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, and uh, it's just the way I do it. So uh, what I did is I went and uh, I bought um, some more cinder block. I had the ones that uh, I already had plenty for the first cracky uh, bed I did. Uh, but I had to go buy some for, for this one. There are 12 cinder blocks and uh, they're about a dollar or 20 a piece uh, at the hardware store you're gonna need uh, a screw gun um, I use a, a nailer but you don't have to have a nailer you can just uh, hammer it or screw uh, that's for the uh, plywood over there that's three-quarter inch plywood for the bottom um, I've also got uh, you're gonna need a saw to cut the bottom. Uh, my the base is 48 inches by 49 inches, and I have some trim pieces. Uh, those are about a dollar for an eight foot length, and uh, you'll see that goes around the, the trim, trim to hold the uh, plastic in place. Uh, keeps it from sliding down inside of there. It kind of keeps it in shape and um, those are styrofoam planks um, I'm going to try to use those to cover it and uh, I'll put my holes in it for my uh, seed cups or I mean my ceiling cups and uh, you'll also need the black plastic it's uh, just regular old six mil plastic uh, I got that at the hardware store and you'll also need some two by sixes I think those are about five or six bucks a piece um, two by sixes uh, eight foot links so it's going to end up being um, uh, yeah I've cut that into four pieces so anyway there you go that's what you need to get it done I'll show you how I put it together as we go along here All right, uh, the first uh, one side of the boards are going to be 46 and a half inches long, and then the other uh, pieces will be 48 inches long. There we have the frame. Now we can start putting it together.
I forgot you're also going to need some screws to screw this thing together. I got about eight screws uh, that I'm going to use to hold the frame together. Now what you want to do is you want to get your plywood and uh, make sure you have it cut uh, to the proper size. So I'm just going to lay that out on top and then draw a line under from the bottom to score where I want to cut it. And I'm going to cut it off. It's exactly these sheets um, are reclaimed and it's going to be exactly when you put both of those together at 48 inches. Uh, it's just going to be a little longer than the 49. All right, well, I'm sorry, I uh, ran out of space on the, uh, the camera. Anyway, I cut it off, and now I'm just going to uh, nail it to the frame. Okay, now we're just gonna nail it, uh, nail the boards, uh, the plywood to the frame, uh, cut the ends off of the, the base, the bottom. Um, got about two and a half, three inches off of the bottom to make it square. I ran out of video. Our space on my camera so uh, y'all missed that part but anyway you get the gist Okay, uh, what I did now is I made myself a few little wood shims uh, to level this up. I've got shims here, here, here. This is the only side that was out, and uh, we're square going across here. We're square going across here, and we're square going that way. that way so we ought to be good perfectly level not square we're level um, hopefully we're square too but anyway um, now the next thing we're going to do is going to lay the plastic across there and uh, start uh, filling it so that the water the weight of the water will do a lot of the, uh, um, the uh, getting a lot of the wrinkles out of the bottom and kind of smoothing it out
All right, just gonna start filling it up. And as it fills up, I'm gonna smooth it out. Make sure we're kind of level at the bottom and uh, I'll trim off whatever is necessary. Um, but once I get it all filled and smoothed out, I'll cut the uh, pieces of trim, put it on there, tape it smooth uh, like I've done there. And uh, we'll be ready to put the, uh, the styrofoam lids on there. I might have to put some kind of uh, support across the top. Probably um, two um, either pieces of wire or, or or something across here to support the weight. Uh, so not all the weight of the vegetables that are sitting on top of there is is being held by the styrofoam uh, to keep that gap, that air gap that we're going to need in there. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, I've cut all the I've cut all the trim pieces. Uh, now I'm going to do is, um, and I've got it, um, my plastic kind of taped up. I just kind of fold it in like you would a, a present and uh, just run some uh, silver duct tape down the sides to kind of keep it nice and clean and straight. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is tack up the, uh, uh, the trim pieces with the, the nailer and she's done. She's ready to cover it and start putting plants uh, well I gotta put the mixture of the nutrient solution in there and then start putting some plants in there okay there it is it's all trimmed out good to go cracky bed number two cracky bed number one now ready to have some fun with some nutrient solution and some uh, some plants it's all that's left to do fixing the uh the lid and that's it with the uh holes in it god bless you and your families go play in some nutrient solution see y'all next time